Babe. What? Look what this guy said. One question. Someone said that the street food in India can make you sick. Is that true? Depends. Being you being an American, my belly forget. And my boy over here, he's American too. Do you think it is it's gonna make you sick or depends upon what okay you go go depends uh where we are i've ate multiple street foods before i haven't like really ate this time because i you know like during my treatment and stuff but before i've ate many and i've knock on wood i've never had any issues over here now i i've seen some videos <laughs> now of some places that maybe might not be so hygienic but ultimately it just depends like it just depends on the vendor what what is that one thing we don't eat outside honey puri <laughs> okay why there's always like a thing with the penny puri guys they like dig in their pants and like you know don't wash your hands and stuff like that it's too much handling of things you know what i mean so if you okay so she eats we are in goa yeah. in india okay in goa belpuri guys panipuri guys they are here they're from gujarat rajasthan wherever they are from and they don't care the moment you see someone is handling liquids too much yeah like they're putting their hand inside yeah and they're just giving it to you raw yeah. like it's not boiled it's, it's not, not boiling it's not fried mm -hmm stay away see that's the main thing with us so when we eat any street food first of all it's veg so the likeliness of getting like really sick from veg is like less likely than with chicken and stuff like that and we always eat like fried like samosas um don't eat don't street eat just food. raw don't eat raw street food like the puri and worried. all that stuff it's raw yeah. raw onions raw potato they're halfly cooked they're not really full cooked and the thing of the matter is is like they they sit out in the sun so they don't have like refrigeration yes so they sit out in the sun and that can make you know make someone sick but i would just say like india is like best guys try the street food because street food is better than the restaurant sometimes and just Try something that's cooked on the street. You know what I mean? There's one guy on here. He's American, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna call him a dumbass now. He goes to Sri Lanka. If you go, if you guys know who this is, he doesn't have a lot of followers. He's a dumbass. He goes to Sri Lanka and he's asking people for food and drinks, and he asks them, "Is it hygienic? Is it hygienic? Is it good? Is it hygienic?" I mean, it's street food. Like, come on, guy. If you wanna really have hygienic food. Spend a couple of more dollars but, of your money. If you don't have, that's probably the reason you were going to yeah. Sri Lanka. No, 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 no. People do that for views. People do that for views. So listen, people like make these videos and make fun of these street vendors and make things like seem worse than what it really is. They they find the fault in things to post to get views and to get follows. But us, like we show the real deal. Like I can go, I can take a day when my kids are in school and I can just show you street vendors and show you like the difference in each different street vendor. You know what I mean? These guys, there's guys out here on TikTok and on Instagram and Facebook. They just do the videos for the view. They, yeah. The more the worse, the more grosser, the more nastier, the more the views because the more shares they get. Yeah. It is not all. Sometimes they might even tell the guy, hey, listen, put your hand in this thing and, you know, put your foot in it and just sway, <laughs> you know, and do that kind of stuff just for view. So, no, it is not. Yeah. And my, your the answer to your question is, uh, please stay away from raw street food. Yes. If you see somebody not boiling, not... Uh, heating up water not or crying. juice do not drink because you don't know if the guy where he lives is nice place or clean because it is cheap and a lot of people in india they don't have they have big houses it is just big as u.s houses yes but some people are poor and yeah. they make buy and that's how they get by it's like you know doing street food and i'm not putting anyone out but it's just like if you want to try street food start with stuff that's cooked and you you know you don't have like that issue and like don't for me i've never ate any kind of meat products on the street uh it's always been like veg stay away 
Yes. Don't eat street, street food, chicken. I mean, I can. When I was growing up, I ate, you know, uh, Chinese food on the streets. Yeah. For me, Indian belly is fine. Yeah. But if you're from America, UK, wherever you're from, and you like that special five star, you know, super clean with gloves and all that shit, uh, stay I, away. I eat like samosas, potato kappa, uh, the chili. Mirchi. Fried chili. Uh, what else? What else do we eat? Lollipop like? chicken. I don't eat that lollipop chicken. Not on, not of the street food. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. It's dangerous because you never know when the guy bought the chicken. And if it does have a fridge in the, the house. The thing with chicken is the salmonella. And it can, like, if it's not cooked to a certain temp, and then if it sits out too long, you know. So, yeah, I wouldn't try those. But otherwise, dude, live life. Try some street food. It's good. You know, it, it, it's better than restaurants sometimes, you know? It's cheaper. You might yeah. not believe. Yeah. When you go to a five-star restaurant, the same samosas, the same baradavadas comes from the same supplier who sells to the street vendor. Yep. It's the same exact thing. Yep. You might pay... A samosa here right now on the street is 15 rupees. I think, I think yeah, 15 rupees. Yeah. Same samosa on the airport is 250 rupees, 500 rupees, same. And it's cold as hell. But on the street, you're going to find it nice and warm and hot. Yeah. Try cooked, not raw. That's to that's the way to survive. Just to get your foot in the door. Then in India. when you know you can handle it, you can go a little further. <laughs> your belly has to get used to it. Yes, yes. And drinking, don't drink street uh, juices and all that kind of stuff yeah. unless you have a good belly. See, I've never gotten okay. I've gotten food poisoning from India before, but it was chicken. And it wasn't street food, it was catered food. It was catered chicken. Uh, what kind of and chicken? And cabbage. And cabbage. Oh, and cabbage. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Raw. You know, my boy, my boy over chicken. there. My boy over there, Hartesh. He eats go on roast omelet like no but it's tomorrow. Egg like and he, chicken curry. he just puts his hand in the masa, just <laughs> chicken curry and the omelet and bread. Yeah, and he eats. Hey, he eats. I'm gonna make a video next time. Like. Wah. But also, like, you just, it just depends on, like, where you go to get the street food, too. I think the problem is because people from America and other countries, they get used to so much cleanliness that they just, body just gets adapted to it, and then they just, you guys suffer so bad. No, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not suffering. It's good to have hygienic food. It is good. But the thing is, is, like, their perception is, where's the gloves? But listen to me. McDonald's, Burger King, so, uh, all these places don't wear gloves because the gloves carry more bacteria than your hand, guys. Sometimes you have to put your hands in your pants. And... <laughs> Get out of here, man. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>